All right, Jade, you had an amazing game today. It was really, really well. You played fantastically, high scorer. Um, and you're leading the stats for your team, which is great. What is working well for you this season and particularly for this game? I think for me this season, I just had to come in playing with a lot of confidence. I think I learned a lot over in the WNBA this year. Um, and I knew in this team I had to step up and be a leader. So just um, continuing to uh, see the evolution of my game, trying to incorporate more threes into it now. Um, just, but just ultimately playing with confidence, installing confidence into my teammates. And, you know, we've been in games now. We took one into overtime. So just trying to get it over the line and get that win. So you're a Taralgon local girl, which is so much fun. Uh, and that's really great. How did you feel playing here today? Even though you've lost, how'd you feel? Uh, it honestly felt amazing. Um, coming back home and playing, you know, in front of my family and friends, um, people that have coached me, people that have mentored me, people I've played with, school teachers, friends, family. Um, it was honestly awesome. And I can't thank people enough. You know, this association shaped me into the player I was. And I played all my juniors here. So um, thanks to the Melbourne Boomers um, for scheduling this game and allowing me to come home. Um, but yeah, an amazing atmosphere. Basketball in Gippsland is so good. So just being that presence for them, being someone that's from this stadium, having little girls come up to you and tell you they play for the T-Birds, um, you really can't be what you can't see. So for them to see me come through the pathway and um, show them you know, what I can do on the um, now international stage, I think that's really special. Yeah. Now this does make this game does make it five and zero for the Capitals, but it is still early days of the season, of course. So, do you think the Capitals can turn around this start to the season and kick off a fresh, a fresh start, middle start for the season? A hundred percent. I think uh, we just need to find that uh, that common belief in the group now um, and just continue to take steps in the right directions. You know. Melbourne have gone undefeated um, and to push them into overtime I think is a great job and a step in the right direction. We're never satisfied with the losses but we can see the process being made so um, it's just a matter of now continuing to get back to training, break down stuff that we need to work on and just continuing to progress in the right, uh, in the right direction. I think we're right there, we just need to figure out how to win, um, put games on our terms and um, yeah we'll, we'll be able to turn this season around, push some teams to their max um, and get some wins for sure. And obviously you've got some connections with our Boomers girls. Was it fun like matching up against them today? Yeah, amazing. You know, Sarah, um, Ames, uh, Tay. I could, the list goes on. I played with Shez last year. Um, it's, it's an amazing, uh, this WNBL, it's just like a real big sisterhood. We all know one another. We can all laugh. We can all play, play around. Um, I loved the competition today with Jordan Canada. Phenomenal athlete, um, played her over in the WNBA and having someone of her caliber here, Nas Hillman, absolutely killed us. So, um, but yeah, those girls are great. It's a great Boomers team and um, yeah, I love the girls.